This is a preliminary study conducted by an interdisciplinary clinical team at the National Center for Oncological Adron Therapy in Pavia. The study is about the quantitative evaluation of patient gaze stability during ocular proton therapy based on eye surface surveillance video. Uval melanoma are the most common intraocular tumors in adults. Now, radiation therapy is considered the standard approach for uval melanoma for tumor control and globe preservation. Among various forms of radiation therapy, charged particles as proton arguably provide more favorable results overall in terms of tumor control, eye and vision preservation, and complication rates. In fact, the physical characteristics of protons makes them an ideal therapy for ocular tumors in which critical structures lay in close proximity to the tumors. With protons, a highly conformal treatment is achieved with the high-dose, hypofractionated irradiation. More than 30,000 eye patients worldwide have been treated with protons. In 2016, a particle therapy cooperative group listed worldwide 12 centers in nine countries performing ocular proton therapy using a dedicated fixed horizontal beamline. However, regardless of the different clinical procedure and hardware, software, equipment adopted by these centers, some fundamentals are in common. Indeed, accurate tumor localization and positioning are mandatory to fully benefit from the advanced geometrical accuracy of particle. Ocular proton therapy clinical workflow is deeply based on X-ray image guidance procedure, both for treatment planning and patient setup verification purposes. In preparation for proton beam treatment, patients undergo surgical placement of tantal marker clips. These clips are suturated at the tumor border on the sclera and serve as radiographic markers uh, of the tumor edge for treatment planning and daily image guidance. During treatment planning, an optimized eye orientation relative to the proton beam axis is determined for minimizing the dose to the critical structures. Thus, an optimal patient gaze direction, defined by polar and smooth angles and the corresponding tantalum clip position are established during treatment planning. The treatment actively participates during setup and the irradiation by looking at a fixation light conveniently positioned in space in order to reproduce the plan gaze alignment. At the time of treatment, proper alignment of the eyes is very fine and eventually iteratively corrected during repeated radiographic imaging of the tantalum clip's current configuration. This configuration is compared against the reference clip configuration defined in the planning phase. Treatment delivery is manually gated. So, if the eye position deviates from the plan one, the beam delivery is manually stopped. Only when the patient looks steadily to the fixation light, the beam delivery is manually enabled. At the National Center for Oncological Adron Therapy, ocular proton therapy is delivered using a non dedicated horizontal beam line featuring active scanning delivery. The patient is immobilized with thermoplastic mask and is positioned with an high accuracy robotic chair. Robotic manipulators and optical tracking system are used to accurately position the fixation light in space. A couple of X-ray tubes and flat panel detectors are used for image guidance. Um, here is an example of stereoscopic X-ray projection acquired during treatment in which the tantalum clip configuration is detected in green. And their side, the reference clip configuration um, uh, is visible in, uh, in red. And finally, uh, the picture depicts the eye tracking system. At the National Center for Oncological Adult Therapy, in fact, a custom eye tracker device is used in clinical practice. A detailed description of the device has been pre presented in details uh, in the reference listed below. Um, in summary, the eye tracking system provides the fixation light for the stabilization of patient gaze direction. This fixation light embedded in the device is visible to the patient through a mirror inclined at 45 degrees placed at the terminal part of the, of the device. The eye tracking system is equipped with a configuration of uh, external infrared reflective markers whose geometry was calibrated with respect to the fixation point. This allows for an accurate positioning of the fixation light using active manipulators and optical tracking system. Finally, the eye tracking system features a, a stereo camera system providing real-time optical imaging of the eye surface used to monitor involuntary eye motion. 
Usually, the treatment takes place under dim lights to facilitate the patient to keep his gaze fixed on a fixation light. Light guys are used to illuminate the field of view of the camera. So, in summary, while repeated X-ray images are acquired for quantitative setup evaluation of purposes, high surface images acquired by the eye tracking system allows for the continuous qualitative monitoring of gaze um, reproducibility. In clinical practice, uh, operators manually outline convenient ocular feature on the reference eye image to detect eventual eye misalignment or shifts during the irradiation. In case of eye misalignment during treatment, beam delivery is manually gated off. In the video, the patient is actively looking at, at the fixation light and the beam is enabled. When the patient deviates from the reference position, the treatment is stopped. Only when the patient returns to look steadily to the fixation light, the treatment continues. Thus, the purpose of this study was the, was the quantitative evaluation of the stability of patient gaze direction during ocular proton treatment delivered at our institution, investigating eye surface images recorded by eye tracking system. Thus, a fully automatic segmentation procedure of the pupillae in the collected eye surface images of one stereo camera is presented and validated in clinical scenario. Uh, we retrospectively collected the clinical data and surveillance video recorded by eye tracking system during setup procedure and treatment delivery. Of five patients who were diagnosed with the choroidal melanoma and underwent ocular proton therapy in our in institution. Ocular proton therapy was delivered in four consecutive daily treatment fractions. Here depicted their clinical characteristics. The visibility of the entire pupil in the video was an inclusion criteria. Daily mean delivery time indicates the average duration of the video over the four treatment fractions. Um, a custom routine for video analysis was developed in uh, MATLAB and operated in two subsequent steps. The first step processes the image to highlight the border of the desired feature. The second applies iteratively the AF transformation in a framework of predefined geometrical radi constraint. The desired outcome was a unique circular profile fitting the pupil edge. To mimic the manual contouring in clinical practice, uh, the first frame after the start of the radiation was selected to automatically define the reference pupil position. Throughout the treatment fraction, the center of the circle fitting the pupil was automatically extracted every 10, sec every 10 frames corresponding approximately to 0.8 seconds. Stability of gaze direction was measured as the, to the distance between the center of the circle at the reference position, the red cross, and the center of the circles automatically detected in the remaining frames, the blue crosses. The 2D distances were expressed as a percentage of the radius of the um, reference circle pupil. Um, then we decided to validate our method in a clinical like uh, scenario. In clinical routine, prior to treatment delivery, patients are asked to look at the fixation light. Posing the view of the ATS on a single frame, operators are facilitated to draw the external contour of the pupil. This manual contour is used as a reference pupil position. We selected a single frame extracted from the setup video recorded of um, four to five patients. To align any potential interoperator contouring variability, we asked four different operators to trace the pupil at the best of their capabilities. A total of 80 manual contours referring to five patients, four setup frames, and four different operators were tested. For each uh, manual contour, each manual contour was uh, then fitted by a circular regression and the corresponding coefficient of determination was calculated. So we quantified the goodness of fit of manual pupil contours to a circle as an indicator of the applicability of the proposed method since it is based on circular feature detection. Uh, and finally, we evaluated the performance of the proposed strategy by calculating the, the 2D distance between the center of each manual circle fitting and the center of the circle automatically detected by the, the described strategy. To guarantee Comparability of data results are then presented as a percentage of the radius of the circle automatically detected by the proposed algorithm. Um, 
here the results of the strategy validation are uh, described. The first column indicates the method applicability. A valuable approximation between the circle of fitting and the manual contours was confirmed by a median R-squared indicator of 0.97. The second column described the interoperator contouring variability. The distance between the center of corresponding fit circles was in median 3% of the reference value. Uh, the interobserver variability was patient dependent according to Kruskal Wallis test. So um, it seems that the more the video images were blurred, the more the interoperator variability increased, suggesting the potential impact of a robust automatic procedure in, in a clinical scenario. The third column described the automatic means of performance according to the distance between the centers of the automatically detected and the center of each corresponding fix in the circle. That was in median 5% of the reference radio. And finally, here are the clinical results of the evaluation of pupil position stability for each of the five analyzed patients over the four treatment fractions. Due to the distances between the center of the circle at the reference position and the center of the circles automatically detected along the corresponding video frames are summarized. The red crossed circle represented the reference pupil uh, position as identified at the beginning of each treatment fraction in the camera field of view. The graphical markers uh, indicate the mean pupil position over a specific treatment fraction while the colored area enclosed the 95 percentile of pupil position from the mean fractional position. Uh, stability of gaze direction varies across patients with median values ranging between 6.6 .6 and 16.5 percentage of the reference pupil radius. Uh, similarly, the interquartile ranges of the 2D distances um, varies um, among patients. So, uh, in conclusion, the presented study proposed a preliminary approach to quantitatively evaluate the stability of the gaze direction over an entire ocular proton therapy treatment course, relying on an automatic segmentation procedure of the pupil. The bidimensional high localization has been intended as an indirect measure of the 3D um, eye position. The stability was uh, clinically acceptable uh, in the evaluated patient cohort. Median to the pupil deviation from the reference position was lower than one millimeter, confirming a good patient collaboration to, to the treatment. The strategy validation shows the dependence of interobservant contouring variability on image quality. Not surprisingly, the more the video images were blurred, the more the interoperator variability increased suggesting the potential impact of a robust automatic procedure in, uh, in clinical scenario. Future perspective include the investigation of more robust and sophisticated future extraction approaches. Currently, we are adapting two open source uh, softwares to our clinical data. The first one uses a recursive estimation of pupil characteristics, and the second one is the IREC2 software presented in 2017 that offers four integrated pupil detection algorithms. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>